A good marriage is a terrible thing to waste, but the reality is so many sisters enter into marriage with a girlfriend mentality and fail to transition to a wife reality. This causes distress, confusion, and all-out war in their homes if they even get to the altar to say, I do. Girlfriend Mentality to Wife Reality is a short ebook that breaks down the marital vows and gives you practical tips on how to think like a wife instead of a girlfriend, how to know Mr. Righteous from Mr. Right, how to build oneness in your marriage, and how to handle trials sickness and death. The book was written by Sister Ashanda N. Makant, a wife, a mom, and a coach. She sent me a copy which was so sweet of her. Ladies, let me tell you, if you're like me and you want to be married and have a successful marriage, this is a book you would want to read. The book is on sale for $5 and every purchase comes with a 10% discount to her coaching service for your first session if you use code MMBT 2022 as displayed on the screen. The link to purchase Girlfriend Mentality to Wife Reality is down below in the description. And also, if you want to book a session on her website, there is a separate link for that and it's in the description as well. Don't sit here and try to tell me Michelle Obama is pretty. We can look up to her, you know, we can think that you like her policies, you look, look, up, to, look up to her as whatever, but she's not like fashion magazine pretty okay if you want to go by fashion magazine standard pretty there hasn't been like a lady in okay jackie o she may have amazing style i was not born then but her face is not pretty okay it's not like i'm sorry can we not just be honest here we can't be honest anymore yeah beauty is in the eyes of the beholder but like i said if you're gonna just be honest to god truth with who is pretty who is not pretty there, that's the truth, okay? Shut up, don't come and tell me. You can't believe you said Michelle Obama was ugly. She's not pretty, okay? She's a regular woman. You wouldn't fucking look twice at her in the street, P period. She ended the video with period like she did something here. <laughs> you know, it's the audacity for me. A white woman with lip injections is gonna sit here and question a black queen's prettiness or looks. like first of all why is she shouting eh who is she shouting at why so pained all her veins want to pop out of her neck eh who hurts you madam <laughs> she's not like fashion magazine pretty okay if you want to go by fashion magazine it's giving fashion magazine pretty so much pain and anger for no reason. I would never for the life of me understand why people discuss people's looks. I would never get it. But since she decided to talk about Michelle Obama's look, talking about if I pass by her on the streets, I won't look twice. How ironic. Because if I pass by you on the streets, they've gone me. I won't look twice. Oh. What does she think she looks like that makes her think she can talk about someone's look? Like the audacity. She's getting dragged on TikTok for this video. They are pulling at her from different angles. And you would know when you have matched line, when you have Miss Yan, when you have effed up badly, when you have spiket in the wrong. You would know this when even your own people are dragging you. It's not pretty, okay? It's not. Like, I'm sorry, can we not just be honest here? I mean, let's be honest. There's you, and then there's Michelle Obama. Let's be honest. Sit here and try to tell me Michelle Obama is pretty. We can look up to her, you know, we can. Get your uneven spray tan piece of ass out of here. No one gives a what you think about Michelle Obama. Okay, just shut the up. Try tell me Michelle Obama is pretty. I know that's not you with the nerve to say that when you are sitting in 2022 with a black solid line on your lower lash line. We don't do that anymore. Michelle Obama would never. You know, it really is disgusting to see a woman tearing down other women because those other women don't meet her standard of beauty. She's talking about former first ladies Michelle Obama and Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis. 
Yeah, she said they're not pretty. Meanwhile, I couldn't help but notice the hair, fake hair extensions in this young lady's head and that nothing from her nose to her forehead moves whenever she talks. I also couldn't help notice what looked like two hot dogs sitting on her mouth for lips. Ma'am, if you don't go sit your bald booty down somewhere, you got a lot of nerve talking about somebody else. I mean, I know you can't feel them in your face, but you got a lot of nerve. Don't sit here and try to tell me Michelle Obama is pretty. Shut up. Tell me, you can't believe you said Michelle Obama was ugly. She's not pretty. Okay. See, I don't want to talk about this woman because she's already displaying her insecurities on the table for her fucking selves. See, white women be the first ones mad when black women get compliments shit. They're also the first ones who be swiping their credit cards to get the same fucking features that black women get. White women are so fucking mad that black women get compliments because they've been told by society that they are the beauty standard when black women are the fucking blueprint. Also, you can be ugly on the outside and beautiful on the inside, which makes you beautiful on the outside, but girl... You are not that. You need to work on your f***ing securities. And despite what you think on their politics, whatever, you need to learn how to appreciate this beautiful black family because they are the f***ing beauty standard. My name is Eric Stone. Dulces. The fact that you even sit here and say, look at who you are. Like, that's ridiculous. Wow. So what is your definition of beauty? You realize you're going to come across as a race, right? I don't think you thought that post out very well. Michelle Obama is the definition of a classic, well, beautiful woman. There's nothing wrong with her features. She's absolutely beautiful. And you know what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And because you don't find her pretty doesn't mean I don't need to find her pretty. You need to check your sweetheart. Check it at the door. Okay. Wow. She obviously needs to find healing and deal with her insecurities. This kind of bitterness is not healthy. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Like, stop venting on the internet for no goddamn reason. Go get therapy or something. And guys, once again, girlfriend mentality to wife reality. A rich ebook you would want to have. Details to purchase is down below in the description. So do check it out. And that's why we'll be leaving this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Share your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Come and tell me, you can't believe you said Michelle Obama was ugly. She's not pretty, okay? She's, She's not pretty to you according to the standards you align with, which isn't making sense because you physically don't look like the standards you're talking about. The same way you wouldn't look twice at Michelle Obama if she was a regular woman in the street is the same way most people wouldn't look twice at you, sweetie. There's nothing there. We can already tell there's nothing of substance in that noggin. So while you make content that makes you look deranged and in need of psychological help, I suggest you talk about people. You, you shoot in your arena. Don't apply white beauty standards to black women because we're in two different arenas, babes. So maybe focus on the aesthetics that you like, that you adhere to, even though you don't look like a fashion magazine ready either. And focus on the people that it would apply to because it doesn't apply to black women. The Jackie O part was good though. Yeah, keep that.